He only believes in Jesus. He does not believe in the Holy Spirit or God, per se. He says well, that Jesus no, is I, I God. believe in him. I just believe he's all three. Well, no, that's generally what... Uh, no, that he's all three. Well, when you're born again, that's what you do believe, that all three are one. God came down to earth as a human in Jesus... So it was God, but they the Son, believe and the, in the Trinity. He doesn't believe in the Trinity, basically. Is, is that what you're saying? No, the Trinity is that Jesus is all three, but it's still a Trinity. Jesus, the Son of God, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But they're all one. What do you think of what he's saying? Me? Oh, yeah, uh... Yeah, for, for us, we believe that uh, that Jesus always existed. Jesus was the Father, and Jesus it was the Son, and Jesus also is, is the Holy Ghost. That's exactly it's, what I said. It's because it did. Right. Yeah. But he's not. Yeah. But you know he. But you're. I mean, are you a Protestant or uh, none of them? You guys, uh, well, we, we're like, like Pentecostal apostolic. Okay, which is exactly what uh, Chad is. Chad is a Pentecostal, and I have a friend who is also a Pentecostal uh, apostolic. She was uh, born again. So you're basically born again yeah. Christian. He would have a good time talking mm-hmm. to Chad. It's yeah, too bad would. Chad's yeah. not on. Yeah. So you believe that very few people will go to heaven? Is that it? <laughs> no, I, I believe I believe that the one that did what he said goes. The what? I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, no, because yeah, uh, I, I believe that the ones obeyed um, Acts two thirty eight uh, is you know, but but see the deal is a lot of people don't understand. You have to go according to your dispensation. Okay, you see, and and the other gentleman who's not on now, okay, he'll be on in two weeks, uh, we hope, anyway. Uh, He believes that if you uh, don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that uh, you will not be able to go to heaven, that only those who are born again and have accepted Jesus as their Savior will be able to go to heaven. Everybody else goes to hell, goes to purgatory. Which includes all the Roman Catholics. I think I'm hearing uh, like an echo when I talk. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give you a different number to call. Which number did he call on? The 646 number. Oh, that's a bad number. You know what? Call on 516-336-8510. Say it again. 516-336-8510. You'll get a much better connection. There you go. Okay. Hey, yeah. All right. Much How's better. that better? Yeah, it's better now. Uh, it's also much louder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we hear you better yeah. now, too. Uh, for some yeah. Reason. But you yeah. would... Uh, you know, did she... See, the deal, a lot of people get mixed up in their dispensations. So you have to live according to your dispensation. Because just like uh, when most of them lived, well, well they couldn't believe in Jesus because he hadn't came flesh yet. That's so, true. So they have to live according to the way in their dis. Like, okay, we shouldn't sacrifice animals because that's not our dispensation. They did that back when Moses was here. That's their dispensation. So you have to, the Bible said we're going to be judged according to the books. Well, you're not gonna be. We're not gonna be judged according to the whole Bible because we didn't live in the Old Testament. We're gonna be judged according to the the dispensation we lived in. Okay, you see, and uh, you'd have a good conversation with Chad, you know, when he comes on. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And like I say, he hopefully will be on in a couple of weeks. <laughs> but uh, he's teaching oh, a yeah. Bible. He couldn't make it tonight, and he's teaching yeah. a Bible class next Friday. But uh, oh, okay. You know, um, see, his belief is nah. that if you don't follow, yeah. Yeah. if you don't follow oh, his good. his teachings, then you won't be able to get into heaven. But I see what you're saying. What you're saying is that 
as long as you follow whatever book it is that you follow and call it a Bible and you live a good life, you'll be able to go to heaven. No. Is that no, correct? no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying that, I'm saying like, remember the days of Moses and Aaron. Right. Those people, they had to, they had to live according to the way, what the, I mean, it's the same rules now, but they couldn't believe on Jesus because Jesus hadn't came yet. Exactly. But see, now us, we can, because this is after Jesus already been here, so now we can believe on, okay, just like right now, you know how the Bible says, you have to go to Jesus and then to get to the Father. Yes. Well, we can't go to Jesus to get to the Father because He's not down here on earth to go to Him. Well, no. According to uh, the New Testament, no one gets to the Father but through Me. He said. So you have to devote your life to Jesus, and that's how you get to God the Father. Well, if that was when He was down here on earth. <laughs> Well, but you see, the the uh, evangelicals and everything will say that his spirit is always on earth. Okay, even though he yeah. even though he's up in heaven, reigning in heaven with God the Father, uh, his spirit is all around us. And as long as you accept mm -hmm. him into your life, then you will be saved. Okay, um, what? A lot of people say, like to this gentleman, Chad, who hopefully when you call in a few weeks, he'll be able to talk to, um, mm -hmm. you know, if I follow my Bible, and my Bible is the Old Testament, okay, if I follow mm -hmm. the teachings of my Bible, and if I lead a good life, then I would assume that I would be able to go to heaven when I die. I, you know, I would hate to think that certainly... I mean, none of us wants to think that our parents, if they passed away, are not in heaven right now. If they were good people, good, honest people. And for most of us, our parents were good and honest people. You know, they prayed when they had to. They went either to church or synagogue, whatever it was, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But for the evangelicals, they only believe one way, you know. And they say that we're almost at the end times right now. They're waiting... They're waiting for the world to fall apart and for Jesus to come back to earth. Mm -hmm. You know, they say that yeah, uh, the, 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 the time of the Antichrist is coming. And, uh, mm -hmm. well, one of the things, who was it, Nostradamus, I believe, who said that the end of the world is supposed to originate in what we call the Middle East. And it, there's mm -hmm. so much turmoil there now, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. You know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm see, what well, see the deal with that is, you see, that's why it's so important to know your dispensations. That's that that way you can keep up with because before the Antichrist reign, the rapture has to happen, and you find that out in um, Second Thessalonians chapter two, where it says that he uh, walks into the temple as God, claiming himself to be God, sitting on the throne as God. But he can't do that until the man, until the Bible says only he who let it will let until he be taken out of the way. So something has to be taken out of the way so the Antichrist can reign. Hmm. Right. Something something is holding him back from just showing up. So the Bible says until he be taken out of the way. Well, what is the he? The he is the Holy Ghost. When the rapture takes place, the God takes his spirit out of the earth. That's the people, that's the saints, the one that has the Holy Ghost. When he takes them out, then the Antichrist have free reign to do whatever you want to do. Because nobody here on earth will have power to, to go against it. But, like it also, power. but it also says that uh, the uh, temp, the, uh, that um, S Solomon's temple has to be rebuilt. And mm -hmm. the, the problem with that is that where Solomon's temple stood originally is where the Dome of the Rock is, which is mm -hmm. the, the holiest part of... Master uh, Omar. Uh, right. So uh, that's not happening anytime soon because uh, obviously the, the Muslims won't allow that. That's, that's their holy shrine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you, you're so, sort of caught in a quandary. You know, you, you don't know what's going to happen. 
Um, but they do well, say. According that, to the scriptures. <laughs> uh, according to the scriptures, it's in there. Man, that's why it's so important to know your dispensations. Okay, so basically, uh, let's say somebody who's Jewish, who does not believe mm-hmm. in Christ, he will not, he will not move on. Is that what you said? I, I, I didn't hear you. Would he? Would somebody who is Jewish, who does not believe in Christ, he will not move on to heaven then? No, because he didn't believe. He didn't receive the spirit. He didn't receive the promise that um, Jesus promised that he was sent to him, and he didn't receive the spirit. So he has to be left behind because he don't have anything to rapture him out of here before the seven year tribulation period. Okay, now how about something has to help you? Yeah, now how about somebody like a Roman Catholic? Like okay, it's like it's like this, and. You have your kids, you have you have your children that, that you birth into the world. And if the Bible says that if you don't have the Spirit of God, you're none of his. So it doesn't matter if you're Jew or Gentile or whatever. It, right now, if you don't have his Spirit, you just can't go because you're none of his. Before Jesus came to earth, then only Jews, the Bible said that God was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those were Hebrews. He was their God anyway. He was going to do for them anyway because he was their God. But when he came in human form, they turned their back on him, and he said, okay, well, I'm going to go to Cornelius. Cornelius was the first Gentile to receive the Holy Ghost in the uh, 10th chapter of Acts. He kept praying to a God he didn't have, and God said, okay, well, my people won't accept me. I'll just go to them. Right, because so original, he closes. <clears throat> originally the followers of Jesus were all Jewish. And that's why yeah. there was there was a, a schism, a split between Peter and Paul, because Peter wanted the followers of Jesus to be Jewish, the Jewish mm-hmm. Christians. And Paul said, well, why can't we allow non-Jews, Romans, Greeks, other people who want to follow Jesus? Okay, and that's where the split mm. came in. And then eventually... It became just, they were all called just Christians. Originally, they were Jewish Christians. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said they was first called Christians at Antioch. Right. I know a lot of people say Constantine started Christianity, but he didn't start Christianity because Christianity was 2,000, it was like uh, 300 and some years before Constantine ever came into the picture. Constantine started the Trinitarians, but he didn't start Christianity. Yeah. You're right. What happened was uh, Constantine Constantine was the first Holy Roman Emperor to make Christianity the uh, religion of the Roman Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, I think he started the split. He, I think you he know, was the start of the of the the Trinitarian. He didn't start the Christian. He started the, the, the separate gods, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He started right, the, and the, it was, the, the and three it was, gods at the Council of Nicaea. And it was actually his mother, Helena, who started it before him. He didn't really convert and accept Jesus into his life until he was on his deathbed. Uh, his mother was the one who, uh, who came back from her uh, pilgrimage, okay, and she converted... And then just before the, uh, the, the uh, fight in Damascus, uh, he saw the sign of the cross in the sky. And an angel said to him, have your men put this symbol on their shield and you will be victorious. And that's what they did. They put the cross on their shield and, and they were victorious. And, but it wasn't until he was dying that he actually accepted Jesus and he was saved. Mm. Yeah, so Listen, I'm going to have to cut this short But I tell you, it was a pleasure speaking with you And if we're on We're on Friday night from 9 to 11 So if you want to listen again and call up You know, by all means you know, we'd love to chat with you. And as I said, the gentleman Chad should be on in a couple of weeks, and you'd probably love talking. Yeah.